First at 9 o'clock tonight, police are looking for three teenagers who broke into a vape shop and stole more than $3,000 worth of items. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lori Fulbright. I'm Brian Dorman. The manager tells News on 6 is Jordan Tidwell. They've had a lot of thefts over the past few months, but this by far is the worst. That's right, Brian. Not only did they steal products from the store, they also smashed in a big glass window. The manager says they the alarm did go off, but the thieves were in and out in less than two minutes. This video shows three boys run through Burn Culture CBD after breaking the store's front window, but it's not the first time they were there that day. I guess since they came in earlier that day uh, before we had closed and they were denied one too many times and decided to retaliate. Manager Katie Newton says the teenagers aren't old enough to buy vape cartridges, but when they broke in, they stole 50 of them, plus the store's iPad and cash box. She says her main fear is the boys are reselling the cartridges to their friends. You're not supposed to have it as a teenager. It's more, it's meant for adults. That's why it's been legalized. And we just, we don't want kids out there selling it to their buddies and spreading it around the schools and everything else. She says in the past few months, they've had several people try to shoplift their items. She says it's really tough because it's hard enough to run a small business right now. It's just one hit after the next, and these are the businesses that we need to really help in our community and make sure that they stick around. She says they're adding security, like putting bars on the windows and getting new glass that's harder to break. To see that you know, someone had disrespected it so much after all the work and love that the owners put into this place. It just, like, it broke my heart. She says the store is still open while they fix the window. If you recognize any of those three boys, call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Live in Tulsa, Jordan Tidwell, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.